What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL playoffs, conference championships, top DFS picks. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top DraftKings picks and FanDuel picks for NFL playoffs, conference championships. And if you stay to the very end after all my picks and after I show you the draft dashboard tools, I'll give you my super secret sleeper pick that no one's talking about. Hey guys, our cash game lineup optimizer is now live. Playing cash games is the secret to building your bankroll. So that's why we've created our cash game lineup optimizer that will generate a lineup based on the highest projected ownership. In cash game lineups, you want safer plays that carry less risk and are owned by a larger percentage of the field. By using the wisdom of the crowd, we will generate a cash game lineup based on ownership projections. This new tool is available right now, so come on in and start building your bankroll. Okay, who do we have at the quarterback position? I like Jimmy Garoppolo from the San Francisco 49ers playing the Green Bay Packers, who have a middle of the pack defense overall and although they've been pretty good versus opposing quarterbacks, Jimmy Garoppolo has averaged 17.2 fantasy points per game on the season. He gets an average of three rush attempts per game. He's going to be about 26% owned, projected at 17.6 fantasy points here in the conference championships. He's only 5,200 DraftKings salary and 2,400 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 46.5 points scored in this game. And they have the 49ers favored by 7.5. So you're going to save a ton of salary with Jimmy Garoppolo. This guy's got 20 plus point upside. We just haven't seen it for a few games. But we could see it here versus the Green Bay Packers. This is a home game. So I like Jimmy Garoppolo here versus the Green Bay Packers. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, who do we have at the running back position? I like Aaron Jones from the Green Bay Packers playing the San Francisco 49ers, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing running backs. But Aaron Jones has averaged 20.9 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 15 rush attempts per game and 4.3 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 28% owned, projected at 18.6 fantasy points here in the conference championships. He's 6,700 DraftKings salary and 1,100 more on FanDuel. So we know Vegas thinks there's going to be 46.5 points scored in this game, and they do have the Packers trailing by 7.5, but I think the Packers are going to surprise some people here. I think they might even get up on the San Francisco 49ers. I think Aaron Jones is going to get plenty of work. So I like Aaron Jones here versus the San Francisco 49ers. Okay guys, if you're getting any value from this video, please hit that red subscribe button. We put out new fantasy football videos every day. So if you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification, you won't miss out on any of our new fantasy football videos. Tons of free stuff coming your way. It only takes a second and it helps us push out more fantasy football content for you guys to consume each and every day. It's because of you subscribers that make this possible. So thank you for supporting this channel. Okay, who do we have at the wide receiver position? I like Emmanuel Sanders from the San Francisco 49ers playing the Green Bay Packers, 
who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing wide receivers. Emmanuel Sanders has averaged 11.7 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.7 pass targets per game. He's gonna be about 34% owned. He's on the field for 77% of the snaps, projected at 12.9 fantasy points here in the conference championships. He's 4,900 DraftKings salary and 600 more on FanDuel. So we know Vegas thinks there's gonna be 46.5 points scored in this game with the 49ers favored by seven and a half. Manuel Sanders hasn't done too much in the last couple of games, only two and four targets. I think he gets much more involved in this game. So I like Emmanuel Sanders here versus the Green Bay Packers. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL and you can try the tools for NBA. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. We've saved salary at the other positions, so I like Travis Kelsey from the Kansas City Chiefs playing the Tennessee Titans who have the 15th worst defense overall, and they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Travis Kelsey has averaged 16.3 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 8.5 pass targets per game. He exploded last game with 44 fantasy points off of 12 pass targets. He's projected at 17.4 fantasy points here in the conference championships. He's 7,100 DraftKings salary and 700 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 52.5 points scored in this game. They have the Kansas City Chiefs favored by 7.5. So I really like George Kittle this week because you're going to save some salary with George Kittle. But you can't ignore Travis Kelsey. He's worth paying up for. This is a home game. So I like Travis Kelsey here versus the Tennessee Titans. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. You don't lock the bonus content. Okay, my super secret sleeper pick for the conference championships is Miko Hardman from the Kansas City Chiefs playing the Tennessee Titans, who have the 15th worst defense overall in their middle of the pack defending opposing wide receivers. McCole Hardman has averaged 7.6 fantasy points per game on the season, getting only 2.6 pass targets per game, but he got four pass targets last game. He's only gonna be about 6% owned. Projected at 7.9 fantasy points here in the conference championships. He's only 3,800 DraftKings salary and 1,100 more on FanDuel. Those four pass targets are encouraging. Nicole Hardman can catch a long bomb for a touchdown and break the slate. It only takes one play for this guy to score fantasy points. So I like McCole Hardman here versus the Tennessee Titans. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck. Do you want more fantasy football picks? Check out the video linked right in the middle of the screen. If you got any value from this video, please tap that subscribe button before you get out of here. 
and ring that bell notification so you won't miss our daily fantasy football uploads. We're putting out new videos every day, so I don't want you guys to miss any of our free content.